Hey everyone, today we're doing a little bit of an adventure. We're a bit out in the wild. Me and Riley have a project today that we're kind of working on this weekend. But today we're at Seven Sisters Falls. Now that's not the falls, obviously. That's a hydroelectric dam. And that's how Manitoba, the province that I live in, generates all of its electricity is through water. Now, the reason that's important is I'm going to talk a little bit about this system that we're in here. This is the Winnipeg River System. It's a very, very important river system, but it's also kind of special. Let's take a peek. So I mentioned that, you know, this is how we get all our power. So there you can see the big power stations and they drape right across to the big power station there that generates it. And then there's the big dam. Now, the thing that's a little bit more unique about it, this has been here for a long time. But the Winnipeg River system, you know, granted this is a cold water habitat, but uh, it's not that different. If you really look at the biotope, it's really not that different than say the Shingu system, uh, the Belamonte Dam, which has, you know, been in the media and everything for years. Uh, that area in the Shingu system of Brazil that's uh, threatened so many fish species. Well, we haven't had the same case here. This one here has fish ladders, so fish can migrate and move the same way, but we also don't have a lot of migratory fish that need to use just this one spot. But you can see the type of rocky habitat. Now imagine that we were in Brazil and all these rocks were really, really dark and black, but it's just solid slabs. This would have all been underwater before this dam. And it's just the whole, there's no, there's no substrate. There's no nothing. It's just solid rock all the way down with little smaller rocks occasionally here mixed in here and there. But really, really unique habitat. It's, uh, Lake Winnipeg is a basically, it's, it's, it's right up there in size to like Lake Malawi and Lake Tanganyika for size, an absolute massive volume of fish because of the lake size and the volume of the lake and because of the, this oxygenation of these river systems. Just as I was walking up, there's a whole bunch of fish moving around in here and I don't see any of them now, but walleye seems to be about the primary game fish that most people are after. So no habitats are safe. Here I am in the Winnipeg River system. Look around, I see little fish. I see all sorts of stuff. The one thing that I do see is this. And this is purple loosestrife, a highly invasive plant that requires, it only grows in marshes and wet, where it has wet feet all the time, but it's very, very populous in Manitoba. Life in a puddle. Got some cool aquatic plants. We've got some tadpoles sitting right there on the rock. Lots of tadpoles, different types of grasses. Life in a puddle here on the Winnipeg River system. Here's another view of the Winnipeg River system. You can see it's all shallow, rock bed base. You get an idea, it's a lower water than normal seasonally. You can see all the algae on the rocks across there. You know, fairly turbulent water, but not that different from other river systems like the Shingu we were talking about. You can see over there, it forms like little isolated pools, it forms different types of eddies, lots of different types of driftwoods have found their place on the side of the shores. Weird congregation of some sort of water beetle. Some sort of insect. They've been alerted to my presence. There's another one over here. I 
no idea what it is. So all you nerds, tell me what those things are. I don't know what it is. Now here's another view. This is one of the areas of this, the actual falls of Seven Sisters. It's about 90 kilometers north of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Absolutely beautiful habitat. The water's rather low at this time of year. Now, we were looking for one specific thing, and it wasn't toads. I believe this one to be the American toad, based solely based on the, on the description of its, uh, its, uh, its distribution map. But you can just tell. Look at how thrilled he was to be found. And basically, we were there to look for pieces of driftwood, because this river system moves so much water. There's so many trees and things that can be found. And I'm looking for stumps, large, large size stumps, like the size of the back of a pickup truck for things for the big build for the 2,000 plus gallon tank. I'm also looking for different types of unique pieces of uh, really weather-worn wood. And boy, did we hit jackpot. This is the treasure. Found this incredible stump. Here it is in the back of the truck. You get an idea of scale. It's massive. We also found all sorts of other incredible pieces for all sorts of other builds we're working on. So truly a successful day. And very much like the Amazon system, you can see that this river system goes through a very seasonal change. When we look at the river bank, you can see where the water marks are and the vast amount of erosion. You know, the water here can change rapidly and can go up by several meters. And as you can see by this bank, this is not a sign to truly of the actual water level itself, but you can see a lot of this dead wood that's been washed up. So you know that the water level has at least been up to the level here. But this is bank destabilization. You see a lot of sand and silt and clay. These are very unstable uh, products once they get wet. And that whole bank is just basically just dropped off. So this spring, this was a live tree. And now it's just been a casualty of uh, the collapse of the riverbank. So all in all, an absolutely fabulous day to spend outside with nature with my daughter. We found everything that we went for. We got to see lots of amazing habitats, even a few animals. It just doesn't get better than that. And you can see, and hopefully you learn something, that some of these habitats, be it in the areas near you, or in these tropical areas of some of the fish that we keep, they're not that different. As long as we have that basic understanding of the ecology of nature, it all makes sense. Thank you for watching, my friends. Take care.